Okay, so Jim's going to tell us about the bill, our, what our bill will look like. Yeah, so when your bill, your Edison bill shifts over to a solar Edison bill, mm -hmm. okay? So you'll be able to tell, and it, by the way, it takes them a couple months to actually get it, so right. don't be freaking out. Right. Um, you'll be able to understand that it becomes a solar bill when you see the term net energy metering, NEM. Okay. Okay, so that means solar. Okay. So you can be able to tell, um, in this particular account, now this, this has been going a little bit. You guys still will need to get credits in your Edison bank. Right. But right. what will happen is, this is the connection fee, $11.84. Uh -huh. So that's the uh, monthly charge. The monthly charge mm -hmm. that covers like, you know, your use of the electric meter and the grid and that sort of mm -hmm. stuff. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you can see it's a negative. It says you have a credit balance. So you don't have to pay that. All right. Mm -hmm. So down here, year to date charges is the negative 158 bucks. Okay. S settled at the end of 12 month bill billing period, like 1221. Okay. And you are in billing month seven of 12. Okay. So that means I have in my Edison bank 158 bucks credit. Okay. Okay. So going to the next page, then for the first time ever, you can see you have bars a below negative, the line. Right. Uh -huh. Okay. So these are all, and you can see it's from March through July. These are all times where the days are long and you're production. really doing a lot of production. All right. You can see in the that's shorter, net for the day, right? That's net for, or the, excuse me, for the month. For the month. month. Yeah. Okay. Correct. Um, and you can see over in the shorter months of the year, right? Sometimes you're pulling mm -hmm. power from mm -hmm. Edison. Mm -hmm. You can look up here and you can see, so consumption means that's what you pull from Edison mm -hmm. and therefore the uh, numbers are positive. Mm -hmm. And this is net generation. Again, that's their solar term. Mm -hmm. And so they got minuses and so therefore they just do the math. Mm -hmm. So this is a month where we have credits that we're accruing. Cool. So that's the way now I look at those two things mm -hmm. when my bill comes in. So I get mine electric. Uh, electronically in my email. Mm -hmm. So I just tap it now and in 30 seconds I look at the first page. Oh, where am I with the, you know, my bank account with right. Edison, right. that right. number. Right. 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 And then I look at the next month and see, you know, where am I in the curve because I know that I am going to be coming, you know, as the days get shorter and shorter, right. I'll be coming closer to these. And then, and then, but so we pay you guys and Edison, right? So, good question. Okay. So you will get your monthly bill from Sunrun. Which is separate from this. It is. Yeah, They're separate go. companies. Right, 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 right. So um, you will see that I don't pay anything to mm -hmm. Edison. Mm -hmm. I just see I have credits. Mm -hmm. Okay. At the end of the year, at the end of this 12-month billing cycle, they will send you a true-up statement. That's going to show an accounting of you put X amount in, you took Y amount off. Okay. With you guys, you should be uh, getting credits because mm -hmm. you are overproducing mm -hmm. on purpose. Mm -hmm. And so, therefore, you should have credits that you can carry on to consecutive years. Right, right. So, you really shouldn't have to pay Edison anything. Right, right. Okay, cool. Until we get the until we get the electric car and all that kind of exciting stuff, and we start to suck a damn more. Okay, absolutely, cool. and that's cool. you know that's that's what everybody's going to be uh, addressing as we go forward. Right, right. And so those therefore will have.